the channel and if you're new around here hi I'm Mackenzie today's video we are finally getting around to the apartment organization and we are starting with the closet if you don't know my fiance and I moved to a beautiful new apartment almost like a month ago now and I really thought the organization process was gonna start immediately however we've been doing it very very slowly so it doesn't get overwhelming because moving was overwhelming and trying to organize everything we just needed a break. So we're gonna start with the closet today. I do wanna give a shout out to one of my favorite people here on YouTube. Her name's Brianna Tata. She makes amazing videos. Go check her out. I'm gonna link her stuff down below. She just did a closet declutter video that I absolutely love and it inspired me to start with my closet as far as organization goes. We are not gonna be decluttering because I decluttered when we moved. I went through my closet before I started packing everything up and donated a lot of items, got rid of a lot of old items. That way I wasn't moving everything I owned. So we don't have to declutter clutter we just have to organize which doesn't sound like it's gonna be a lot but just just you wait until you see this closet behind me so let's go ahead and show you guys the before of what we're working with and then I'll kind of go through the process as I'm starting to organize everything so wish us luck all right I want to preface that I've never had a walk-in closet this size before so I really don't know what to do with it but the options are endless so we're just gonna open the door be very afraid oh god okay it's not terrible but like still have all these boxes full of like winter clothes summer clothes swim stuff that i need to unpack but i haven't had a place to put them in here yet these are all like jeans this is like clean clothes that have not been folded because again nowhere to put them this is laundry basket shoes hang up clothes i actually just got this dresser kind of dresser I guess yesterday I ordered it from Amazon it's just like a fabric dresser but I absolutely love it it took me 10 minutes to put together but I saved all the organizing for you guys so I just put this in just to make sure it fit and we're gonna use this to organize everything coming over here is the really tragic side I mean we are <laughs> suitcases not unpacked from the bachelorette trip all these clothes are hanging off the edge I've been living and chaos in here I mean just absolute chaos I think the first plan is gonna kind of be to figure out where I want to put everything and kind of how I want to organize the closet so that it's functional and practical for me and then we will start the organization process so I'm gonna try to just sit and map out this closet and what I think would work best it's a lot of space to work with which is great and amazing but it's also a little overwhelming so let's see how this goes all right please ignore that back there um i lost my tripod in the move so i'm using various household items to prop you guys up on but forgot to preface that this is just my closet there's another closet in the guest bathroom that's like massive and it is bryce's closet now why are we doing separate closets well that's because i have a lot of clothes and he has a lot of clothes specifically for all of his business attire like the amount of polos he has is just insane so that's just a preface if you're like Where's Bryce's stuff? Well, it's in the other closet and you do not even want to see that closet. There's no saving that organization. So that's why we're just doing mine. So I've been sitting in this closet, just like contemplating if I actually want to organize all of this or not. And I've decided I'm going to start with the dresser I got from Amazon. I'm like looking at it right now. That's why I keep looking down. This is going to serve like my actual dresser that I would have in my bedroom. We don't really have a wall that can hold a full dresser and not like be super bulky and take up space. So I think I want to leave everything in the closet. So I'm going to use this like for shorts, shirts, socks, everything like that. I think I'll have lots of room to organize all this. So I'm going to go through my clean clothes. This is this one right here first and separate those into the drawers and just kind of figure out which drawer I want to have which. And I think it'll take a lot of stuff off these shelves and make it easier to organize the entire closet. Does that make sense? I don't know. I, this, I'm winging it here. You know, this is unprofessional organization, but it's realistic. That's what we're doing here. So currently I'm going through all the drawers. I'm really used to having a six drawer dresser, so it's different to have eight, even though they're a little smaller. I feel like I can kind of break down the categories a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm thinking and what I'm kind of doing so far. All right, so I think these top two are gonna be like socks, underwear, sports bras, everything like that, and these two. These next ones right here, I'm gonna do shirts. I'm gonna do like athletic tank tops and like athletic t-shirts here and then this will be more casual comfy t-shirts here i'm gonna do like my sweat shorts my comfy casual shorts 
and then here I'll do my workout shorts and then these bottom two I'm gonna save for pajamas because I have a lot of pajamas but I think that's like realistic because I'm gonna be reaching for the things in these four drawers the most I had these organizers from Ikea that were for my like bigger dresser they're not gonna fit in here they're a little big maybe some of the smaller ones like I have these smaller ones that I think would fit but definitely not the big ones so I'm gonna have to organize just kind of like this I'm just kind of separating them out and yeah where I can still see them all I don't have too many because like I said I decluttered so it's going really well I'm very very happy it's about 20 minutes later we have completed the little dresser thing everything that is clean that needs to go in here has been put in here so I'll kind of show you what some of the drawers look like so I use the smaller packing cubes in all of these so this is just like sports balls like actual socks that I found one of I have to wash everything else so I'll put those in here and like separate them and organize them together and then these are just like comfy socks and I have a lot of room to put something else if I need to these are just like my tank tops and athletic wear I think it looks really nice just all tucked away and these don't wrinkle so it's easy to put in here for the t-shirts I realized that these are like very very casual throw on hang out in the house t-shirts that I have so I put those there and then I pulled out all the t-shirts I wear on like a daily basis that wrinkle really easily I'm gonna hang those up I don't know why I've never done that but they're getting hung up now that that's all organized I'm gonna move on to all of this stuff tackle this I think these three bins I'm gonna put up ahead so that way when you walk in it looks really nice and organized another thing I forgot to show you guys so this thing right here it's supposed to be a shoe organizer however I got this in my last closet and I was like the shoes don't really work here so I do this with them hold on let me get it set up so I do this with them I roll my jeans up and put them there that way I can see like I can have the bottom kind of sticking out so I know what bottoms they are and what color they are and I just kind of have them going all the way down the line and I think it's really a good way to see your jeans it's coming together I'm getting really excited <laughs> these this is gonna be fun. There's also more back here that I didn't show you guys, but there's more. So I'm gonna go ahead, rip open this box. I don't remember what's in any of these boxes. So it's gonna be really fun. When I first opened this box, I was a little alarmed, but after looking through it, it's Bryce's stuff too. This is all his stuff right here. Like, come on, it is not as bad. This is just my stuff, couple jackets, couple sweaters, perfect. I knew I decluttered. I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to declutter even more, which I still might do because some of this stuff I'm like, eh, I don't really need it. But some of this is Bryce's stuff. And then that box down there, I realized, is just like shoes. So that that is good. And then this is like swim clothes and more fall, winter clothes. So some of those will get hung up. Some of them will have to get a little storage thing to put like swimsuits and stuff since it's no longer hot enough for all that. Well, it is, but not for long. But it's better than we thought. So that's good news. So I'm just gonna finish hanging all this stuff up. I'll show you guys a little bit of that. And then I'm hanging everything up and then kind of deciding where to put it after, just because I don't really know yet exactly the kind of flow of the closet that I want, because this door, obviously, whatever goes behind here, like the storage, the hanging spot, is not gonna be like easily accessed unless I close the door. So I'm trying to figure out what needs to go back there, but it's going pretty well. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. It's kind of a therapeutic process. I changed because I got really sweaty had to take a break but we are good now the hair's up and I'm so happy with how it turned out I cannot wait to show you guys there are a couple of things that I'll show you that I'm gonna need to pick up from like Amazon or Target or something just to kind of help organize this closet a little bit more but for now with everything we had how it all came together I just can't wait for you guys to see it so let's go ahead and head inside the closet and see how it all came together here we go grand reveal this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. My favorite thing just looking at it, like with the door open, is how good the floors look. Like I like that there's not a lot of clutter on the floors. It's very clean and open. And we're just gonna go through it all now. I'm so excited. So we're gonna start over here. This is where I decided to put my laundry hamper. I like that it was the closest part to the door so it wasn't like inaccessible back here. I can just drag it out and take it to the washer and dryer and it's just perfect. Then I have my shoe rack, which I love having all of my shoes out on display. Just have like shoes I wear every day here, some heels, some backup sneakers. 
and I have like slippers tucked away. I put my boots over here and then my taller boots are kind of tucked back there because I don't wear them that much. And I got these on, which go to that spot, but they're so cute, my little Uggs. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what this video is about. So then moving on right here, like I told you guys, I decided I wanted to hang up the t-shirts I wear every day because they wrinkle so easy when they're folded. And this is gonna be a really good way to kind of have them all out. Right here in this empty space, I do wanna get some like stacked organizers or maybe like a hanging organizer to put like my everyday sweatshirts in. Cause I do like to like wear a sweatshirt around the house, even when it's hundred degrees outside. All right, so now moving Moving on over to this area. These are all of my dresses. This is actually my bridal getting ready robe, which is crazy. You guys saw it here first. But I have my dresses here. These are all my short dresses. I don't really care that they're covering the shelf because I have plenty of shelf room here. And then I put my longer dresses and some jackets just back here, just because I don't wear those as often. Put my big checked bag away suitcase back in there so it's out of the way, but I can still get to it if I needed it. We are moving on to my favorite area of the closet, which is this right here behind me. This is so nice nice and organized all of this is and I can't wait to take you guys through it because I really think it's going to be very practical for me too so this is just the fabric dresser that I told you guys about that I got on Amazon I'm going to link it down below because it has exceeded expectations I think it was only like $50 took me 10 minutes to put together and it holds like everything I need so well and it's very sturdy considering how few pieces it was so I'll kind of pop you guys in some of the drawers let's look in this one so I just have it kind of organized like this Couple of things are stacked on top of each other, but that's fine because I can wear any of it. I just feel like the whole thing is very, very practical for me. And then in this little basket up here, I just thought it was cute to have a basket. I just have like some deodorant in case I'm getting ready and don't feel like going into the bathroom or forgot it. This is some wrinkle release spray that I absolutely love. Now we're moving on to these little three boxes like that you see right when you walk in, which I think is so visually pleasing. And this one I have sweatshirts. It's kind of overcrowded because I want to move some of them here, like my everyday wear ones. But sweatshirts. Then in here I have like jean shorts, cute shorts, and then this is scrubs. What I really like about this setup is that I can just grab this box and set it here on the counter and kind of go through it. That way I'm not like putting it on the floor or just like trying to reach in. And it's going to keep things nice and clean, I feel like. I'm setting myself up for success here by having this like workspace to kind of go through these boxes if I need to. So I'm feeling really good about that. I showed you guys this earlier, but this is just that shoe organizer that I use for my denim and pants. I think it looks so good. I can see all the colors. I know exactly exactly what jeans they are and it just really doesn't take up that much space which I think is great too. Back here I just tucked my robe because I don't really wear it that much and then I have my just carry-on suitcase here. It's like the easiest accessible point that way I can just roll it out, open it up, pack everything I need and it's good. Right here we just have all of my hang-up clothes. This goes from like regular shirts, tank tops, all the way to long sleeves. I kind of color coded it a little bit which I really think it looks very good and very clean. I like that it kind of goes from like small to larger sleeve items and then we're gonna move back here to behind the door now which I got to talk to you guys about a little bit more so I know it looks empty because it is all of this space is just free space I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this but as far as like these areas here I think I want to get some containers that are covered these are the ones from Ikea that I had left over that I didn't use in the dresser but I just think I want to kind of put like leggings probably more leggings and swim in this area. That way it's out, but I can kind of tuck it away with like a covered box. So I need to look on Amazon for some of those. And then I can get one more here to put whatever I want, maybe purses, bags, I don't know, accessories. But this bin is definitely gonna stay. In here, I just have like my steamer and stuff. I think it's a really great place to have it. It's tucked away, but I still know exactly where it is if I need to steam anything in this closet. All right, so that is my closet. That's kind of how it all came together. I hope you guys really liked how I organized everything and felt that it was really practical, maybe something you can implement at home. I feel like this is a really functional and clean space that I'll be able to maintain, and I'm feeling really good about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it if you haven't already, and subscribe down below so you don't miss the next one we have lots of fun apartment wedding and disney content coming which i know you guys love because that's how we got started here so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of it again thank you guys so so much for watching and i can't wait to see you real soon bye